Could you just share with our listeners some of what you sent out to your congregation yesterday and what you've been sharing with other pastors? I'd be happy to, Isaac, and this is a very serious time in our nation. And yesterday afternoon, as I was in my study at the church, I happened to be monitoring what was going on in Washington, both through radio and television. And at one particular point, I just got such a heavy burden that I could hardly contain it. I went to prayer for the nation, and I went to prayer for our congregation. And what I did then is send out through the email at our church, as well as through our Facebook ministry, they call to pray for America. And I mentioned that we are in the place in this country where we must pray so the truth will prevail. You take into consideration what is going on with Iran and the impeachment situation, the trade agreement in China, the 2020 election coming up, and so many other things. We cannot avoid prayer. We talk a lot about prayer, but I believe that we have gone beyond the point of talking to where we must pray and really pray for our nation. And I gave a number of things to our congregation to pray for that I pass on to all of our listeners today. I won't read them all, but as I said, that Christians must become serious about prayer. And we need to pray that America will genuinely turn to God and that there will be a spiritual revival. What does that mean? That means, number one, that Christians will get right with God. That's what revival is. But secondly, that people will come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to pray that Nancy Pelosi gets saved. We need to pray that Adam Schiff gets saved, that Jerry Nadler gets saved, and right across the board and pray specifically. Let's pray for them. We need to pray that all political leaders will seek God for wisdom in order to lead America biblically, and that if you've got unsaved people who won't seek God for wisdom— we need to pray that the Spirit of God will just put in their hearts biblical things to do. Wouldn't it be something if Adam Schiff began to speak biblical principles? And uh, honestly, I believe that God could do that. We need to pray to that end. We need to pray that our leaders, and particularly President Trump, will be protected from evil. But you know, we need to pray that absolute truth will prevail in all of these issues that we're facing in America today. And sort of as a conclusion to these things, I am asking our congregation to pray for. We need to pray that pastors and churches will take up the banner for absolute truth and integrity across America today and lead their congregations to do the same. You know, in Psalm 11 and verse 3, it says, If the foundations be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? And I've often heard people say, well, <laughs> there's not much they can do. Well, that's not what Psalm 11 says. Psalm 11 answers that as it goes on. And it says that if the foundations be destroyed, God is still sitting on the throne in heaven. God sees all things taking place. He will sort everything out. He will send judgment where it is needed. And that's why the last verse of Psalm 11 says, the righteous Lord loves righteousness. His countenance does behold the upright. We need to pray for righteousness and God's wisdom and truth to prevail in America today. I ask everybody under the sound of our voices, including pastors, lead others in prayer. Pray earnestly for our nation. That is what will make the difference.